day despite the fact that I have allergies. So bizarre, like I literally grew up on a farm, lots of wheat, lots of grain, lots of pollen, never had allergies growing up like hay fever. Um, but here in Canada, like this year, not last, but this year, I have got like really bloodshot eyes and runny nose and I'm sneezing. I get really blocked up if I'm like outside and there's a bit of wind. Anyway, side note, bit annoying, but doesn't matter. It's not gonna bring down my mood because today, I am off to Al and Cass's again, and we are going to, we, Al, is going to build the base for my bed. So I got a text uh, earlier today saying that they had picked up all the stuff. I'm gonna do a separate video with like a breakdown of car costs and everything. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the day we deck it out, and I think it's only gonna take a couple of hours. So Cass and I are gonna sit in the backyard and supervise with wine. Um, but yeah, really keen to see it all come together. And then I'll just need to buy like a proper mattress for it. Um, and then I'm good to go. I can't believe that. Like, honestly, doing this has like opened up a world of possibilities to me. I'm like, oh my God, like working remotely as well. As soon as things start to open up, who's going on a big long road trip? And as long as there's like a cafe with Wi-Fi that I can work from during the day, I could be anywhere. Like. This is my dream. My dream is to have a job where I can literally just up and go anywhere. Now, obviously with Robert Half, that's not gonna be an option for me to like go and live on a beach in Mexico. But yeah, being in my apartment versus being like a couple of hours north or in Alberta or something for a few days, I think that would be fine. So who knows, we'll see. But very excited and I will film it and show you guys what we do as much as I can. Also, one thing, it's so random. So I grew up on a farm in Australia and I'm pretty sure it was a Ford. Like my my grandpa had a ute, um, like a, a truck, if you're Canadian or American, um, but like a, a farming ute. Um, and it was really old. Like obviously, I think when I was younger, it wasn't as old, but I just remember it being a kind of like beat up old ute. Um, and it was just always a little bit dirty, a little bit dusty. Um, and so this car is a Ford and it just like even driving it just reminds me of it even though I don't know like there's a lot of years difference between them it just feels really similar um, and also another weird thing I think when I bought it the guy had like aired it out a little bit because there is a faint smell of mice which is a little bit disconcerting and a little bit gross but again from the country from the farm smelling the sort of light mouse scent is kind of comforting. I don't know, is that weird? It's a bit gross, but I'm definitely gonna get rid of it. Like I don't want to keep it cause it's disgusting. But yeah, I don't know. It just like feels like home. It smells like home. So yeah, that's that's just really nice. Like I do believe in synchronicity and I'm just like, oh, like this, these are just little signs that I have done the right thing and I'm on the right path and all that. So yeah. <laughs> Going, guys. It's gonna be like an origami 
puzzle piece. Organic puzzle piece. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Go for it. We are unfolding for the first time. <laughs> like a dream, Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just woken up, not gonna lie, head is a little bit sore after drinking quite a bit last night as I'll put together my bed, but oh my goodness, such a good sleep actually, like it's so comfortable. The mattress um, that Al and Cass have in their car is really good and they lent it to me. So um, I slept on that last night on top of my bed base um, and then just had like, my dunas or sleeping bags and then my pillow. So comfortable um, and like it was raining last night, it was fine, like it wasn't too cold or anything. So yeah, I'm so happy with it. So I'm getting towards the end of decking out this car, which has taken many, many processes, more than I thought it would. Um, but I have got myself a six inch memory foam mattress. Um, so I'm gonna put that in the back. I'm hoping that I'll be able to like roll it up when I'm not using it and just use like car elastics with the hooks on the end um, to hold it together. Um, and that way it can just roll up and sit in the boot. Um, there's not gonna be that much room for storage in this car, I've realized. Like there's a little bit like underneath here. Um, but when the bed base is all unfolded, like it sits up to like here-ish. Um, so yeah, not that much room, but that's fine. It's a comfortable sleep at least. All right, so I wouldn't necessarily say that she fits like a glove. It's like a tiny bit wide. I don't know if that's gonna matter. Like obviously it's not ideal, but it kind of like pushes down ish. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. Like, I mean, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be uncomfortable. Um, at least all the crevices are filled. Like it would be worse if there was gaps, I think. Um, like there's a fair bit of overhang here, which I guess like normally you could get a bit of foam and maybe cut it to shape, but I don't really wanna cut this cause I think it would ruin it. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to roll up, like after camping, I think, to like roll it up, like it's pretty stiff. Um, gonna need some muscles, but it's all good. I mean, all in all, it's not bad. All set up. Don't mind me just chilling in my bathrobe. This is like my uniform when I'm at home. It's just like this cotton on bathrobe but I actually live in it um so it had a weekend away camping in the car with the proper mattress set up oh my god that set like that mattress the memory foam is literally like a, a better sleep than what I would have in my normal bed it is so comfortable um it actually puffs up to like probably triple the size of what it was um, when you saw it in like the initial video where I was like unpacking it. Um, you can see in the little clip where I have it set up with like the doona cover and like the crochet blanket and stuff like that, like it's quite big. Um, so it's really, really comfortable. It does end up like molding to the car. So it really does feel like every crevice. So if you have like your phone or like a flashlight or anything lying on it, it's really good because it doesn't fall down um, like into the into the car i guess if that makes sense um but it does make it really hard to open the doors like um maddie and i were sleeping in it when we went camping and because it like pushes out against the door you have to like shove your hand down to try and like 
pull the door handle and then some, the door handle like pulls out into the car. So it's, I mean, Maddie couldn't get out her side that I think the side that she's on, there's an issue with the door handle anyway. But there was like a moment of panic when we both really needed to go to the bathroom and Maddie couldn't get out her side. And I was like, oh my God, I think I'm stuck as well. Um, I don't even know if I can open the boot from the inside. So that would have been interesting, but all in all, it's okay. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. It's really big, like inconveniently big when it's all um, like rolled up, like it doesn't go very thin. It's kind of like this massive fat roll that basically takes up the entire back seat. So it's just like really inconvenient if I wanna pack a lot of stuff or if I wanna take people in my car, like I can only really take two passengers in the back because it just takes up too much room. So there's a few logistical issues with it, um, but for now it's super comfy. If I was just going around by myself, it would be fine. Um, so I'll just see how the rest of summer pans out and maybe try and sell it if it's too inconvenient um, and just buy like maybe a blow up version. So we'll see, but so excited that it is all set up now so I can literally just jump on the road and go whenever I want, um, which is really cool. So yeah, I'm really happy with the, the finished product. <laughs>